I'm joined now by Thomas Duggan of the Duggan family from here in Green Glens Arena in Mill Street. Thomas, what are your general impressions of this year's show so far? Well, Bill, this year now it is just bursting at the seams. We've got um, 1,300 horses and ponies stabled on, on the grounds, plus others. We've moved into parking areas that we've never had to move into before. It is, um, it's, it's, it's just incredible. Hard, hard to believe it. It's a great indictment for the Irish show jumping, the crowds that come here every year. There's something very close to the Irish people's hearts with Mill Street Show. Well, it's a show that's open to everybody. It has produced many, many champions, both in the, in the young horse classes and in the young rider classes. And there's everything from under eights to under eight pony uh, riders, I beg your pardon, riding their one to eight ponies right up to the Grand Prix level. So there's something for everybody. And I think the, the, the results of that are visible now today. Absolutely. A lot of Ireland's top leading riders at the moment all came through Mill Street Gates at some stage. Bertram Allen jumped here, number five in the world. Billy Toomey jumped here. Keen O'Connor. You've had them all. That's right. And on many occasions, it was their first occasion to wear a green jacket. They, they will recognise that and acknowledge it to this day. Tell us of your plans going forward. Um, our plans now, uh, we've Mill Street Show right now, CSI 3 Star, finishes on Sunday. We've one free weekend and then we have our first international CIC 1, 2 and 3 Star level in eventing, which is a, a, a new departure for us. Last year we had the European Pony Championships in the eventing, dressage and show jumping. So it'll be very interesting to see how that goes and that will develop into C, CI uh, next year. And we have European Young Riders and uh, Junior Championships in eventing in 2017. So a very busy schedule ahead for you, no rest. Tell us a little bit more about your course designer for the cross country. I believe you've got somebody very special. That's right, Mike Etherington Smith, twice um, Olympic course designer and twice World Championships course designer. So he's right up there. He has been working with uh, British Eventing for the last, I think, maybe six years as chief executive and has finally or decided to leave and gone gone back to full time course building. So we had him uh, while he was still in that position on a part time basis, and now he's a full time course designer again and tell us about some of the very special fences that are unique to Drishan Castle well it's a very old estate and it goes back to 1436 and we've tried our best to use all the the old existing features there's a ring fort there's a servants bridge there's a lime kiln um, the prayer walk lots of um, very very unique things specific to the site and um, for anybody who'd like to, to, to be there on the 30th of August as a feast for the eyes and of course, you've embraced technology. Uh, all the entries now are done online, which is fantastic for Irish shows. That's right. Mill Street was the first show, in fact, way back when to go online with its entry system. I think possibly eight years ago, first show in Ireland at the time. And everything is online now, the whole lot. Yeah. And of course, with Clip My Horse, we're, we're online um, uh, streaming as well. Thomas Duggan, thank you very much.